वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक्स ऑफ जेनेटिक्स दैट इज इपिस्टैटिक इंट्रैक्शन इपिस्टैटिक इंट्रैक्शन the interaction which you are getting in two different or two or more different genes resulting some different type of product they are called epistatic interaction so to understand epistatic interaction we should know the epistasis epistasis when expression of a gene is modified by the another gene you can term it as epistasis or the non allelic interaction which you call inter allelic interaction means interaction between genes of uh, between alleles of two different genes that is inter allelic interaction is called epistasis as i said that this is very interesting topic of course the mendelian principle is the thumb rule of genetics but we all know of course that is the base of of your genetics now we are very advanced in genomics and many things if you see but fundamental the basis the basics we should not forget to get the interest in genetics we must try to understand the basics so we cannot forget the contribution of the mendel his principles because they are the thumb rule of course there are deviations and there are the regions of deviations you know here i i would like to go at low level so that everyone can understand that what is epistasis and what is what is what does it mean what is the use to understand this epistasis because you see there are thousands and thousands genes in any organism if you talk whether you are talking about the plants or you are talking about human beings you are talking about animals you are talking about cattle you are talking about dogs you are talking about poultry you are talking about any organism there are thousands and thousands genes available say for example if you talk in rice maybe 50 60 1000 genes if 50 60 1000 genes are there do you have that much number of chromosomes in rice or if thousands and thousands genes are in human being do you have that much thousands and thousands chromosomes i mean to say here i wish to emphasize here that so i wish to emphasize that there are large number of genes in an organism 
but there are limited number of chromosomes so you have to accommodate for hypothetical example if i'm putting you are having 60000 genes in rice so you are having only 12 pairs of chromosomes 2n is equal to 24 means 12 pairs 12 homologous pairs 2n is equal to 24 but n is equal to 12 so in all these 12 chromosomes if that variety of rice is having 60,000 genes so to accommodate all 60,000 genes how many genes if you hypothetically how many genes should be there if equally you are distributing of course it is not equal in all the chromosomes but just you try try to understand if you are going to distribute all these genes on 12 chromosomes so equally if you are distributing so of course it will be 5000 5000 5000 5000 genes hypothetically i am putting in one chromosome and you know if you see the meiosis the inheritance of these 5000 genes they will travel together in the next generation with exception of crossing over and translocation but they are transmitting together means they are linked they are linked together this is the chromosome these are the genes say for example yeah so they are transmitting together to next generation is chromosome number one say for example so all these 5000 genes are here of course the location of the gene is different it, gene number one gene number two three four five six like that so gene number one is far away from gene number 12 gene number two is tightly located each other so we used to say that these genes are linked together of course some is distantly linked some is tightly linked together so this is the linkage and because of this linkage there will be deviation from the mendelian principle yes as i said that that is the thumb rule the mendelian principle is the thumb rule but there is deviation because of this linkage group and altogether if i said that 12 chromosomes are there 60000 genes are there and if you are which is not happening in nature but hypothetically if you are distributing it means you are distributing 5000 5000 5000 12 5, 5, 60000 genes means there are 12 linkage groups whatever genes 5000 genes are here they are different from the second chromosome genes 5000 and third is different fourth is different so they are the link linkage group in rice if you call what is the linkage group in rice it is 12 if i say what is the linkage group in human beings so you have to say 23 because there are two or 23 different types of chromosome pairs and total 2n is equal to 46 because it is in pair 23 so 23 different types so all the genes are located on these 23 thousands and thousand genes are located on these 23 chromosomes so they are inheriting together they are linked the chromosome number all genes of chromosome number one is linked together all the genes of chromosome number two is linked together likewise all the genes in 20, uh, chromosome number 23rd is linked together. So all together there are 23 link, linkage group. 
So how you are going to get the F2 ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1? Independent assortment if it is happening. It will not be independent assortment if you are talking about the linked group of genes. Okay, if one gene is located in chromosome number 1, another you are discussing with this gene which is located in the chromosome number 2, of course you are going to get an independent assortment. But here once both the genes are available in the same chromosome, means linkage is there in these two genes which you are dealing. They will not give you the independent assortment. As I said, this, that is the thumb rule. But there will be deviation. So, this is one deviation because of the linkage. Another devi deviation you are getting, as you have seen that in Mendelian principle, if he is giving F2 ratio, he is giving of two different characters. Say for example, the one character is the seed coat shape, whether the seed is wrinkled or smooth. And another character is the seed color, whether it is yellow or green. So if you are taking, both are controlled by different genes. If it, it is controlled, around is, say for example, if it is recessive, small r, small r, the ring guild is capital R, capital R, the another trait, the yellow is, if you say, dominant, the so capital Y, capital Y, the green is small y, small y. So two different genes he studied, which were available on different two chromosomes. So if you, if he has seen the in, inheritance pattern in the F2 generation, the segregation, he got the independent assortment and finally he gave rise. Uh, he found that 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio, which you are not going to get. I am putting here another example. If a trait, any character is controlled by two genes or more than two genes, are you going to get the 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio? No. So, for each and every gene, for each and every character, you have to study the inheritance pattern and accordingly you are, if it is a, if you are talking about the classical genetics, if you are talking about the uh, uh, based upon the Mendelian principles, you have to try to see the inheritance pattern and according to that you are deciding that how many genes are controlling and in, in which direction, in which, which way they are interacting each other. So of course there are several genes interacting together but it is not possible to, to describe properly uh, the interaction of uh, among so many genes together but of course just to try to describe well we are here dealing, we are going to deal here with the interaction of two genes together and seeing the inheritance pattern and the F2 segregation ratio. So, if you are talking about two genes, if they are controlling a single trait and their Mendelian principle, in Mendelian principle you have seen that Two genes are controlling two different characters. In practical sense, for all the characters, it is not so. So here we will be dealing the deviations from the Mendelian principle, which is in practical happening in all the organisms, whether it is human being, plants, animal, the cattle, the poultry, the fish, any organism, these genes are behaving in that way. Uh, here I would like to emphasize one thing 
when we are dealing with the students, uh, the genetics with the students, many students are coming from maths stream and they say that, sir, it is very tough to understand genetics. Uh, but in fact, it is not like that. You see, the, the math, math, mathematics is helping the genetics, you see. How, how the, this uh, uh, Mendel has come to the conclusion because of the statistics, because of the mathematics, because of the ratios he has seen, the segregating ratio, the segregation ratio in F2 generation, and others. So, if it is mathematics, statistics, biometrics, they are all helping the genetics. So, you never say, you don't say that, uh, uh, sir, it is tough. No, it is very easy for mathematics, statistics, and uh, biometrics to understand genetics very well because on because uh, depending upon the ratio you are going to judge that how many genes and in, uh, are controlling the character and in which direction they are interacting each other so i will be coming uh, with examples for different types of all the interaction can cannot be dis, uh, explained here but but of course some important interactions we will be dealing one by one in different lectures. Uh, I will be coming in uh, next lecture with the uh, first example of uh, epistatic interaction. Thanking you very much.